elements of this film that were added in well after you guys left Bulgaria. Um, was it everything you imagined when you see it now? What do you think of the final, when you see it all put together? Times a hundred more. Um, I remember uh, there was a shot where we were up on um, an Athenian ship and there was a Persian climbing up and I remember looking down and it was a concrete floor with cigarette butts and you know, bits of pieces, bits and pieces. And, uh, and then I saw that final shot and it was this glistening, picture perfect uh, ocean and it was incredible and you know, you, you having seen the first film, you, you have a bit of an idea stylistically what it's gonna look like more so than, you know, than with other films and I was just so blown away by it. I thought it was in, incredible. During the shoot, we, we had a, a pre vis what they call a pre vis ready, which I think must abbreviate pre-visual something or other, uh, which basically is like an animated version of, of what, what, we, what we were trying to capture. And so, very generally, we got a sort of, you know, a brief outline as to, you know, the, the setting and the enormity of the ocean and the sort of waves we were going to be eventually uh, superimposed on. So it was weird to see it as this, like, see the origin, you know, kind of, you know, develop from, from that point onwards to turn into this pretty flawless piece of uh, motion cinema. What was it like for you guys coming in, like, knowing the impact of the first film, going through the experience, and now experiencing it as a finished product? Yeah, it was, it's certainly, uh you know, it was a massive success, the first one, and they're, they're big boots to fill, and, and uh, you, uh, you know, you, you certainly hope it will, it will um, you know, be everything it, it can be. Um, I feel that, um, you know, they've, I'm proud of what we've done, and, and uh, I think it's a, uh, you know, I think it's a, it's a, We yeah. shot this two years ago, so yeah. to, to go from then, and it's also, I mean, I, I was hugely aware prior to having involvement, um, what, you know, the, the sort of boots we were aiming to fill. What I find, Colin, I don't know if you agree, is watching the screening, um, you know, seeing the way that the original was married into this version, and we'd always heard the word equal used as a description of what is technically our sequel. And to see the two stories kind of complement each other means that I guess you can watch, watch the two films in, in any particular order. You know, it's kind of two different insights in the same as it happened war. Um, but I, I, I mean, it, 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 I, I'm, myself, I'm quite speechless, you know, to see, to have any involvement in such an enormous piece of work that is pretty monumental and should for that reason stand the test of time. Kind of means we're immortal now, kind of. <laughs> we're immortalised and in good shape at that as well. So, yeah. yeah, I mean the first one was was incredible, and and you know hopefully uh, the, the fans will will feel like we've uh, uh, delivered and, and stepped up to the plate uh, as much as we um, we uh, are needed to be. Sure, I hope so. Anyway, do you? Sort of repri it's not really a reprisal. There's a there's a father and son component to the first film, and now mm. in this film as well. Were there anything that you two did in preparation to kind of develop that relationship off screen that, that you're proud of how it showed up on screen? Well, you, you'd, you'd recently just become a father, right? Mm. So this was all fresh for Callan too. And I think you know we we had so many weeks of, of you know hours and hours and weeks and weeks of training in the lead up to before we shot that it, you know day after day it was you know we wake up we're in the van at 8:30 Jack myself and Hans and we'd go to sword training for three hours and we'd go we'd have lunch on the way we'd eat our lunch our meat and broccoli in the car on the way to the studio and then do uh, fight training uh, sorry gym training in the afternoon so we spent a lot of time together we spent time in the trenches and it certainly you really got to know each other well and and uh, you know there was that uh, I wanted uh, to be completely available for Jack and for, for him to do the best job he could and he did for me as well and so we were very uh, you know just generous and present for for each other um, which you know really helped um, you know authentically tell tell that uh, 
or, or tell that story.